Hi, my name is Kate. Welcome to my channel. And here I meet well-known experts in topic of parenting. For today's conversation, I want to introduce Dr. Jack Newman, who is a well-known lactation expert, Canadian pediatrician. He has a clinic in Toronto, which is supporting breastfeeding mothers. And we're going to have a conversation about benefits of breastfeeding. Please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. There is evidence that uh, breastfeeding actually protects against ADHD. The thing is that a lot of mothers will breastfeed maybe two weeks, four weeks, sometimes four or five months, but very few actually breastfeed exclusively for six months and then for two years and beyond, as the World Health Organization recommends. And there is lots of evidence that all sorts of diseases are actually protective against uh, what you were just asking about, not only ADHD, ADHD but also against uh, immune uh, diseases, not necessarily in the, ba in the mother, but in the child. Because, you know, once a mother is a mother, I mean, she's gone through a lot in her life and maybe she wasn't breastfed herself. Uh, but, you know, there are lots of uh, studies that do show protection against all sorts of uh, diseases, including in the mother and the baby both. So, you know, we can't always explain why there's an increase, but I can tell you that uh, uh, the rate of breastfeeding uh, in countries where we see a lot of uh, autoimmune diseases, uh, the rate of breastfeeding is usually short and, uh, you know, not a large population. So we have in Britain, very low rates of breastfeeding. In the United States, you know, they have no maternity leave. So how long can they breastfeed? And giving milk, breast milk in a bottle is not the same thing as uh, breastfeeding. So there's lots of things that we don't really understand. And of course, you know, anybody can get any disease. I don't, you know, I don't know what the risks are, but uh, you know, I, I don't think we should be looking at, oh, rates of autoimmune diseases has gone up and yet so has breastfeeding but I actually don't believe the rate of breastfeeding has gone up, at least not exclusive or longer than a few weeks or months. I don't think that has increased. 